So today I'm going to show you guys how to make visualizers. It's pretty easy to do and you'll be able to make a lot of clients since every single musician needs one of those. So why not get good at it, right? Now what you're going to do is select this tool and you're going to have to select the part that you want to animate from the picture. So just carefully select it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now what you want to do is just being past it. It will be past it on another layer. Now what you're going to do is delete the arm from the original picture so what you're gonna do is select the arm again with the larger selection like so now what you're gonna do is simply right click and click on delete and fill selection here you go now the arm and the original picture are separated and now all you have to do is just do it over again for the other elements of the picture that you want to animate now import your photoshop file inside of after effect now click on enable layer style, click OK. Now just drag the file inside of your timeline. Now all you have to do is just scale it up a little bit to match the frame. Now just double click on the layer and you'll see all of your layers that came from Photoshop. Now I'll just select the end and just change the anchor points position. It's just a preference. And I'll start by animating the end. I'm gonna start by putting one keyframe at the beginning and another one at the place where I want the end animation to stop. Now I'm going to select my first keyframe and just change its position and I'll just leave the second keyframe alone. And as you can see, there's an animation. So I'll just select both of my keyframes and I'm going to click on the F9 for some smoother movements. To that, I'm going to hide everything and focus on the headband. Uh, this technique applies to hair and other part of clothing. So now just select the pin tool and just create some pins inside of the headband or the hair strand. Now once this is done, you're gonna go to File, then go to Scripts, and click on Hair Rig. I'll just click on Run, and here you go, you got a little animation, it's automatic and it's really fast. I will put the link in the script inside of the description. Don't forget that you can also use this plugin for uh, hair and all of that. Now what we're gonna do is simply import that footage, we're just gonna put some smoke on the animation this will make it a little bit more ambient now i'll just change the 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 mode for a screen if you can see the modes just click on toggle switch and select your mode that you want and i'll add another one snow overlay put it on screen again so just put it on screen every time there's a black screen i'll just set the timer for your animation you know and now select everything and click on pre-compose. Now make sure everything is alright. Click on OK. Now once you got that, just add your your extra effects. So now what I'm gonna add now is just an effect that will make the holes glow. So now once that I am satisfied with my settings, I'll just make the glow move along with the goggles. So all I'm gonna do is add some keyframes, one at the beginning. And the second one at where the animation of the couple stops. Right there. And I'm just gonna make sure that the glow actually is on the goggle in the second keyframe. As you can see. So I'm just gonna duplicate the glow. I'm just gonna do the same for the second lens. Okay, now we got an animation that looks like something. So now just go back to your uh, regular uh, position. Now just add a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline and add in the second keyframe where you want the scale animation to stop. So go to the first keyframe and simply put the scale up. And this will create a scale animation. I'll just select all the keyframes, click on F9, click on the curve logo right there and you'll be able to edit your graph. Now just make whatever graph you want. You can copy my mine if you want, but Hey, it depends on what visualizer you want to achieve. So here you go. This is the visualizer, this is the animation. You can do this with any pictures you want. So yeah, hope you liked the video. If it was helpful, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, go follow my Instagram, and see you in another video.